I'm Dawn Monaghan, I'm the Head of Data Sharing and Privacy Unit at NHS England. The Vanguard event workshops were primarily held because the Vanguards themselves and senior management were telling us as the Data Sharing and Privacy Unit that there were significant IG problems within Vanguards, which was actually um, disenabling the transformation of health and social care. And we wanted to find out exactly what that IG problem was by unpacking it with the people who, were, who had that particular perception. So there were top three myths and legends came out of the work that we did with the vanguards. Um, the first was around consent models and why people were using consent to be able to share data. And whilst consent is often required to um, set aside the duty of confidence, it is not normally required in order to meet the terms and obligations of the Data Protection Act. So one of the myths we were trying to bust was when you are getting consent or feeling you have to gain consent, do you really understand why you're doing it? Have you thought through properly what the sharing is, what the data is, whether it does in fact carry a duty of confidence and therefore you do need to set that aside, which would mean that primarily you perhaps will need consent, or actually does it not carry a duty of confidence and therefore the hurdle that you are jumping is purely the Data Protection Act, in which case consent would not be the right vehicle for being able to share the data. The second myth was really about um, breaching um, and the penalties or punishments that are associated with the breaching of the Data Protection Act. Many people were saying they were frightened of sharing data because that would put the uh, head of the organisation or organisations that were involved in the vanguard in danger of being sent to prison. Um, this clearly is a myth. Um, you can go to prison under the Data Protection Act for unlawful access or disclosure of data, but that is served on you as an individual and it's usually when it's been a malicious attempt to access that data and to either sell it or share it with other people that should not have had access to it. A breach of a data protection principle, such as it not being fair to share or it not being lawful to share, or a breach of a security principle where technical and organisational measures have not been put in place, would not result in a prison sentence. It may very, very well result in a fine from the Information Commissioner's Office or an enforcement or indeed just an undertaking, but it would not carry a prison sentence, it's not a criminal offence. And the third myth was around um, what a data sharing agreement actually is. So there's a lot of confusion in the system, um, not just in vanguards actually, but throughout the system about what a data sharing agreement actually is. A data sharing agreement is a, a term that is used in the data sharing code which was produced by the ICO. And it primarily within the health service equates to an operating model. So what it does is make sure that organisations that are, have agreed to share data with one another understand who's taking responsibility for what and in what way the data will be handled. It's not a service level agreement a contract. It's not a written contract for the purposes of principle seven that you would hold with a data processor who was processing data on your behalf. They are something very different. But what tends to happen is these contracts, either for a service level agreement or for data access in some way, or um, the sharing of data with an, another third party, a data processor who is operating on behalf of the organisation, become conflated with an actual data sharing agreement that is an agreement between two data controllers about how they're going to operate. And often these um, agreements tend to be more a contract or a service level agreement rather than a pure data sharing agreement. You could arguably say that they could all be rolled into one and be called an information protocol, but at the moment people are using data sharing agreements in all sorts of different contexts 
and often when they're talking to one another they're talking about a data sharing agreement but they mean different things to different people.